Hey guys, uh, my name's Elijah and you're watching Technology Central. Um, I've been gone for like forever now because the last video I did was on this guy, which I actually still haven't gotten to work on that much. It's, but I mean, it's functional, it just needs new battery, new power button flex cable, and a new screen because there's some white splotches in the screen. But uh, here's, I have lined up my iPhone and iPod collection, I literally only have one iPod, and it is a Duke University iPod. I found it in a bookstore, I think it was like $25, but today we have a new device. I kind of shredded the box trying to hide all the info and stuff, so I'm just going to flip it over so that so that no one can actually see what's happening, or like what's on the box. So I don't know if I need a box cutter for this or not. I might not. I don't know, let's, let's just go ahead. Um, did I actually cut, oh my God. I haven't done an unboxing video in a very long time. I think the actual last unboxing on this YouTube channel I did, and the only unboxing, no, no, not the only unboxing, the last one was this iPhone 3G over here. So that is pretty cool. Actually downgraded it to iPhone. I don't know if I ever made a video on it after that, but I know I made a video on the 4S and the 3GS, but I did downgrade this to iOS, uh, or no, iPhone OS 2.1. So let me go ahead and focus here. 2.1, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I got some more new stuff too. I'm actually no longer recording on an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm recording on an iPhone 10R. I would be recording in 4K 60, but if this is like a 10 minute video, that's going to be with four gigabytes, and I don't want to waste that much storage. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've just been lacking the motivation to make any videos at all lately. One sec, let me cut this piece. Whoever packaged this box actually did a pretty good job. Now, this came from Virginia, and it... Hopefully, should all be what was in the pictures. I'm sure of. Oh, yes, it's, it's there. It's even got the box. So this is why this is going to be cool. It is an iPod Nano. And if you can't tell by the box, um, it's a second generation iPod Nano. And it is a two gigabyte model, two gigabyte silver, which is the only color that the second gen actually came in. Let's check and see if anything else comes in the box. It's empty. So here it is. Oh, sorry, I accidentally bumped that. Um, I'm having troubles right now because the tripod head that fits the phone is, uh, gone for some reason I can't find it so I'm having to like jerry rig some a tripod or a phone holder because I have a small tripod I just have to like make a stand for it so yeah let's go ahead and peel this off now this is going to be my second iPod Nano now it's my first second generation iPod Nano but my first iPod Nano was a third gen a little fat Nano you know the, like the one that's really weird besides the sixth generation comes with the documents designed by apple in california and it comes with headphones i don't think i'm going to use these because you know i mean they look like they've never been used but they're out of the packaging so i don't know if i, tr I don't trust that really comes with the i think this is the original apple charger and here is the iPod itself, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's hold. I don't. 
I haven't used an iPod so long. I forget which way or how you turn it on. Or I don't know if it's dead. Uh, let's see, here is the back. This is kind of my favorite Nano because it reminds me of a smaller iPod mini. And I do want to get an iPod mini sometime, but I just really like this design. Like, I mean, just pop out my classic. I like the aluminum design, but I also love the stainless steel design. So I do want to get another iPod classic or replace the hard drive in this. It actually doesn't have a hard drive in it because it did have one, but it failed. So yeah, I couldn't really do anything with it after that. But uh, yeah, so let me find hmm, a charger. Oh, wait, well, I have a charger. Let me find a brick. Which I believe, yeah, there's one over here, okay. Um, I don't know if the microphone quality is any better on the 10R from the, uh, 7 Plus. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I, uh, moved the camera over here so we can plug it in for the first time. Oh, I see an Apple logo. I don't know if you can see it. Pretty cool. Let's see. Me. Yeah, it's got someone's name on it, so. I don't know if the battery is bad or anything. We're gonna find out here. I'm gonna hold turn on the hold does it die whenever i unplug it oh god oh huh it seems to die when i unplug it i'm gonna let it charge for a little bit or plug it into itunes and restore it and then yeah so i'll be back all right, I just restarted. I believe it has uh, rest been restored now because I just began the restore process a moment ago. So, I don't know if the battery's bad on it, cause, but I'll leave it to charge for a little while after I put some music on here. And uh, we'll find out. It's gonna happen, so. All right, we're getting the welcome to your new iPod screen. So we're gonna continue. Uh, sync with iTunes, get started. And now it's uh, Elijah's iPod, obviously. Okay, so let's load some music on here. I wish it gave, uh, Info, I wish it read info on the battery, you know. We're gonna sync my 49 songs onto the music library. I hope the quality is better too, because, you know, obviously. And maybe the microphone is better. I won't sound as echoey or anything. I'm also processing this through Chrome on the desktop site, like the Chrome app, and then I request desktop site so that it doesn't, so that I can upload it and so that it won't like compress it as bad like it does on mobile. Like if you up, uh, if you upload from the mobile app, it really like messes up with the quality. So yeah, thinking. And I'll be back whenever it's not syncing anymore. <laughs> Alright, the iPod sync is complete. So we're going to disconnect. Click eject. 
Okay to disconnect. No battery power remains. Please connect the iPod to power. Even though it says that it's got all that power, or all that battery, which makes no sense. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, go over here and plug it up to power. It is restarting now. Whoa. Let's get... Cool. We got games, screen lock. That's cool. Uh, settings about. Okay, so I loaded all my songs on there. That's good. Main menu, music. Whoa. Alright, cool. Nice. Alright, it does seem to be fully working. I got them plugged in. And, uh... I just hope that the battery isn't bad. Maybe if I let it charge for a little while, it'll like, uh, won't die as soon as I unplug it. But I have a bad feeling about this, and I'm pretty sure that the battery is soldered to the, uh, you know, it's soldered to the board, which means I would have to have soldering iron to replace the battery. And I'm really not that good soldering, so I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't want to mess it up, set it to 20, oh my god, I suck with the quick wheel, alright, there, now, let me take off my headphones and we'll see how loud it gets, okay, so, okay huge gaming headset because my I don't have any earbuds on me. You can hear it. I'm not going to play it very long because I don't want copyright. But you can hear it. It gets real loud. So that's nice. Um, although it's not going to be much use if the battery's bad. Even though it's advertised as fully functional, uh, I don't know. But I definitely like having a color screen now, because before on the iPod Classic, I had a monochrome screen, which I still like because it's like classic, but you know, we got a music quiz. a music quiz. I actually like this a lot. I've never actually done a music quiz. Crap. Crap, I just freaked out. Anyway, so, and then Brick is probably my favorite. Just cause, oh god. I'm doing this through a camera, through, so. Probably not gonna do too good. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'll be back in a little bit after I leave it to charge for a while. And, uh, you know, see if it dies as soon as I unplug it. I'll leave it for about an hour or two, see what happens. So, yeah. Uh, I'll be back. For me, it'll be like an hour, and for you, it'll be like a couple seconds. <laughs> Alright, guys, so back with an update. It hasn't been an hour, but as we can see here, it says charged. So, let's find out if it shuts off. Alright. It's got some tabs on it, so I gotta like 
push these. God. I'm going one-handed right now. I don't know why they have to be tabs on it. Should have used one of my other... Oh my god, hold on. So, let's see, it says said fully charged. So if I unplug it, will it stay on? No. So it's got a bad battery. Um, I would say basically a scam. Because, I mean, yeah, it is fully functional, but it only works when it plugs, when it's plugged in. So, I mean, there's not really any use to that, because, I mean, unless I just have it sitting somewhere, ready to play music on, like, a stereo, but I can't take it anywhere and plug it into my headphones, because it'll just die. So, that's pretty st stupid. Like, I shouldn't have advertised it as fully functional whenever it wasn't even... I mean, I'm not going to return it, because I don't care enough anymore. You know, it's just... It was, like, $31, which still I'm kind of pissed about that it was... I paid $30 for an iPod that won't even work unless it's plugged in, which is pretty shitty of the seller. Um, but I don't think I'm going to return it because, you know, it's pretty, ugh. it's pretty easy to just make $30 back, you know. I might buy another iPod, or I, I do want to buy, like, an iPhone 4, uh, at least running iOS 6, or try to find an iPhone like an, an iPhone first gen, but the prices are rising. And I'm just going to keep it because it comes with the packaging, so. I don't know. It's pretty dumb. I don't know why it just won't work, unless there's some way that I can just get it, but I'm pretty sure the battery's bad, which really sucks. Excuse my language a moment ago, I'm just kind of angry about it, because I was expecting to get a music player, but now I just have one that's as useless is this, because I mean, this isn't useless. The battery is still great on this. I could just replace the hard drive, easy, find another one, reformat it to Windows, put my music on it, got a good iPod, so I might do that, or I might find another iPod Classic, or I might find another fourth gen and steal the uh, backplate off this, because I'm not a big fan of this Duke University text. I just want like a clean iPod, you know? So, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't think that this is worth it, like, at all, because, you know, I'm expecting fully functional, it said, fully working in the description, it said it was a bundle with the case and headphones, and uh, in the description, you know, of it, it says, it doesn't say four parts are not working, it says pre-owned and uh, fully working, so, yeah. I guess it was a scam, I don't know. Would you consider that a scam? Because technically it does play music, but not without being charged, you know? So I don't know. It's kind of kind of dumb. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you want to see in the next video. I don't know when the next video will be, but I'm going to try to make it soon because, you know... Considering that this is messed up, I need to find another thing to make a video on that will actually work, you know. I might find another iPod. Uh, maybe an iPhone 4, because I don't have one of those yet, you know. I used to have one, but yeah, that was before I collected, so yeah. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.